Hey everyone, in the news this week, well, there's been a huge amount of bloodshed in Israel after an attack by Hamas led to a brutal retaliation. Let's see how things unfold over the next week, but like many around the world, I'm shaking my head and thinking about the tragic rise in petrol prices we're likely to see if it turns into a broader war in the region. Stevie Nicks from Fleetwood Mac is apparently going to get her own Barbie doll, and I'm guessing she must be pretty hard up for cash if she's only just gotten around to being able to afford one. The government's going to be passing a law to eventually ban cigarette sales. The announcement met largely with apathy, although it will win a lot of votes from people who are involved in the UK's illegal tobacco smuggling industry, which is valued at £6 billion a year. As somebody who regularly flies between the UK and America, though, remember to drop your preferred brand in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Here's a classic update of a joke. A Scotsman walks into a bar alone because the Englishman, the Welshman and the Irishman are still at the World Cup. A 36-14 loss yesterday, so I guess even four years, lads. And a man was arrested after trying to kidnap and murder TV presenter Holly Willoughby. Authorities have put out a press release reminding would-be criminals that James Corden is currently residing in England. And finally, the HS2 project was back in the news with presenters desperately trying not to describe it as a train crash. It's almost certain it will never reach Manchester and even the SNP realise the game is up and it's too expensive to expand it to Glasgow. A government spokesperson at a train station in North London was heard saying, Euston, we have a problem. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.